Well, every Thursday on Midday, we like to help you figure out what's for dinner. With school back in session, we know meal planning and prepping can be hard for busy parents. And that's why our very own Christy Kohler is whipping up an easy recipe in her kitchen with the cutest helping hand. Check it out. We are talking what's for dinner, and I've got with me my sous chef, Knox. Knox, are you ready to make some dinner? You ready for chicken pot pie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is a super simple uh, dinner that you can make on a weeknight, but you can also get your kiddos involved. Max is only two and a half and he's going to help me make this meal. Uh, we want to make sure that we've got some chicken, one egg, uh, mixed vegetables, frozen. Okay. We've got cream of chicken. Yeah, what is this? Milk, that's right. And then we've got our biscuit mix. So this is all the ingredients that you need to get started. So the first step is adults only. You're gonna to wanna to cook your chicken. We're looking for about a cup of cooked chicken. The other adults only step is you wanna turn on your oven and we're gonna set it to 400 degrees to get that going. And then you wanna grab two bowls, uh, one larger and one small is fine, and take your egg, and you crack the egg. Oh. <laughs> we get a little messy with this every time, but we get the egg into our bowl and then we're just going to mix it right up. <laughs> yeah. Next, we're going with half a cup of whole milk. Can I pour that in, kiddo? Good job. <laughs> Knox likes to pour it in, so I just measure the ingredients out and then he'll pour it in and do the stirring for me. You want to mix that all up? Yeah. We're going to add one cup of biscuit mix. Fair warning, because your toddlers is going to be the mess. So this is the part where you can get a little creative with what kind of flavors you like and put a little seasoning into your biscuits. Uh, so make sure you're ready. All right. For me, uh, we're choosing paprika and a little garlic salt to help give the batter some flavor. Of course, you want to monitor your toppers when they're trying to put seasoning in there. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of Mom. So We're going to put down, put this biscuit mix aside, and now we're going to grab our big bowl, and we've got about a cup of that cooked chicken chopped into bite-sized pieces there. Um, we're also going to add our cream of chicken. Ready? You want mommy to do this? Yeah. Knocks his own little uh, kid size chef's tools that he absolutely loves using in the kitchen. Um, and they've made things uh, just a lot more fun for him, I think, for the size that he wants. Okay. You want to do it? You go for it, kiddo. So Knox is going to start mixing it up a little bit, and we're going to add a couple more ingredients. got one and two-thirds cup of vegetables. These are our frozen vegetables that we're adding in. Uh, this is another chance to add a little seasoning in here. I'm going to add a little more garlic salt since we already put garlic salt into our um, into our biscuit mix, but that just gives it a little extra flavor so that it's not quite so bland, especially for our adult palates where we like everything seasoned. I know, but you will make a big mess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think we're about ready to put it in our pan? Yes. All right, let's go get the pan. Well, unfortunately, I lost my sous chef. His attention span ran out. But the good news is we are in the home stretch here. Uh, so just take your vegetable chicken mixture and you're going to pour it into uh, a round 8 inch or 9 inch pan. So just spread it into the bottom of your pan. And yes, I'm still having uh -huh. Knox's tools because they're already dirty. So that means less dishes that I have to do in less, instead of getting another set of dishes dirty. <laughs> so we take that and then we're gonna grab our biscuit. We've got our biscuit mix and then we're just gonna pour that on top. And there you have it. We've got our chicken pot pie ready to go. We're going to pop it in the oven. Remember, preheated to 400 degrees. We're going to pop it in there for 30 minutes and then it'll be ready. And occasionally you can get the kids to help you with the dishes or yeah. just play and play. Hey Knox, what do you think of dinner? Is it good? Is it tasty? Yeah. <laughs> And that's what's for dinner.